What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will and I'm down here. Beautiful day in Key West. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've had a bit of wind and rain the past couple of days. It's been pretty much nonstop. So I haven't been able to get out fishing. The couple times that I have gone fishing, there's just been nothing. So right now, I'm going to grab uh, one of Madeline's paddle boards. And if you're not familiar with Aaron's channel, then maybe you're not familiar with Madeline. But I live with Aaron Young, Key West Waterman on YouTube, and Madeline Young. Uh, she has a paddle board business, Paddle and Madeline. I also have the Blue Angels. We have the Blue Angels here uh, Saturday, and they're actually practicing right now, running drills. So I'm getting my very own private Blue Angels air show. I would turn the camera around, but it's gonna look like little fleas jumping past. You're not gonna be able to see anything. But anyway, Madeline has a company called Paddle and Madeline. Uh, so if you come down, look her up. Uh, if you're in the Keys and you wanna do like a sunset tour or a breakfast brunch tour, sunrise tour she does it all um and it's right right over here in this beautiful beautiful area in the mangroves so definitely check that out now with that said i'm gonna steal one of her paddle boards right now and we're gonna head out to the mangroves and try to catch a snapper let me see if i can actually show you these Pretty intense and pretty cool. It's been going on since about seven o'clock this morning, so uh, it's been loud. But I'm looking forward to it on uh, Saturday. We're gonna go check it out. Um, all right, let's gear up and get out there and maybe I can shoot a snapper. We're gonna bring uh, one of Aaron's new guns. Rover, which is made just for this. Also, if you ever want to know if you're like gaining a little bit of weight or out of shape, just put a wetsuit top on. It'll, it'll clear that up real quick for you. Alright, we're off. Also, if you're ever uh, wondering if you look weird with a shaved head, just shave your head and that'll clear that up real quick too. <laughs> it was time. So, I think this entire expedition is going to have the blue angels in the background so it is only fair that on if i catch anything uh on saturday hold on on saturday when we go to see them i'll take a little bit of footage just so uh you guys can see them cool it's too. It's one of the coolest things. It's one of my favorite things. They're right there. Crazy. Oh, we are about to get dive bombed. This is going to be cool. It, it doesn't get old for me. Um, it makes me, I, I think the first time I saw the Blue Angels, I was like seven years old, something like that. And it does not, I still feel like I'm seven years old. It's such a cool thing. And now I'm in. Key West on the paddleboard about to try to smear, spear snapper while the blue angels are above me. Life is weird sometimes. I see a couple of decent sized mangroves. I just want to do a quick uh, drive by before I set up shop, but I already see a couple. So we're actually going to tie up outside of this little tunnel and then swim it so that we don't disturb everything. So the only thing, um, I only have a head mount. I don't have a, uh, a mount on the gun. And we're only in about, 
I don't know, like three feet of water. Um, so I will try my hardest to get uh, good shots, not like that, but um, good shots of when I'm underwater instead of having the camera keep coming out of water. I noticed that on one of my last videos, but it's a work in progress, guys. I'm figuring it out. Diving is still new to me, so, you know, this is all uh, trial and error. So let's go do some error. All right, so <clears throat> a couple of takeaways from today. I'm gonna put all my misses in there. Um, I'm not gonna hide a thing. I missed a lot of fish, a lot of big fish. So number one, uh, these guns <clears throat> with a mid gun uh, handle you got to aim a lot differently. I kept shooting high, consistently about an inch high over the fish because I'm used to my gun where the handle's back here. So I was aiming just a little bit high and it wasn't until that last fish that I aimed lower than what I felt I should have. So that was number one. Number two is that bigger fish give you about one second. They come in, they check you out, they turn and they leave. So, you know, I got to get a little bit faster on that. But, <clears throat> listen, it's no trophy, it's no monster, but I got lunch. We're going to go back to the house, make a little bit of a snack. I got a little bit of a paddle ahead of me, so I'll see you at the house. All right, so we got our fish. I'm gonna start setting up the stove here. We're gonna do basically a shallow fry on the fish and then we're gonna make some uh, garlic oil, garlic chili oil. All right, so first things first, get the fish ready. So this is gonna be pretty simple. We'll do it all on the plate here. Just a couple of score lines. And then I have here just sea salt and some black pepper. 
And now we're just going to lightly dust it with cornstarch. I know it looks like a lot, but it's all going to shake off, don't worry. And that's going to give us a really crispy, nice skin. Now, in my pan, I'm going to go olive oil and a spoonful of beef tallow. It's not necessary. You could put a little bit of butter in there. It would do the same thing. But the beef tallow is going to add really good flavor. All right. Make sure we got cornstarch everywhere. And shake off the excess. So there we go. And that is going into our pan, which looks to be ready already. So now for the garlic oil, I have two hot chilies here, and garlic, obviously. And we're just going to slice all the garlic, and then the chilies, I'm actually going to take I'm going to take the seeds out because I don't want this too spicy and these chilies are actually through the roof spicy. So we're going to take those out. Might leave a couple of them. Okay, this I'm keep aside there. Now I'm putting in the garlic cold, meaning in the oil cold, because I don't want it to fry too quickly. I want it to fry nice and slow so that it makes almost like a garlic chip. Fish is almost ready to be flipped and the garlic, I'm going to start pulling the ones that are golden brown already because I don't want them burn actually they're all they're all looking pretty good so I'm gonna pull those out throw them on the towel and then show you what we're gonna do with this oil all right so our oil is shut off that's gonna cool down our fish looks just about ready to flip one little part stick in there let's see if we can get it Oh, nice and crispy. We'll move that tail up so it gets a little bit of the oil as well. All right, that's about finishing up. Now our oil, I've been letting it cool down. I'm gonna move it over to a bowl here. I only need about that much. So about half of what we started with. And I'm gonna let that cool down just a little bit more before I do anything. Okay, so to this oil, and I want it just a little bit hot so that the heat from our chili flakes actually spreads throughout that oil a little bit. All right, now in here I have just regular sugar. Add that, and this is just a little bit of salt, and add back our nice crispy garlic chips. Give that a little stir. That's our garnish, garnish for on top of the fish. Put that aside. And some scallions. And also a lime. Alright, I'm going to shut the heat on that. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, that 
is beautiful. Just cooked all the way through. All right, let's dress this up. Well, I might not be the best shot. <laughs> that's, that's well established. And I'm definitely not uh, blaming the gun. I just gotta learn how to use that one. It's very, very new to me. But in the end, I do have lunch. So I'm not upset. Oh, that is so crispy. And just cooked through, I say it all the time. Cook it until the bones, that's why you make the little slits in there and then you can look and just, the bones should still be translucent. They shouldn't be white white. If they're white white, you probably overcook the fish. But as you can see, that fish, super juicy. Get some garlic chips on there. Mmm. Got a little bit of sugar. plays so nice with the spice in that oil. Those chilies are really hot. I'm glad that I omitted the uh, the seeds, but hmm. Not bad for being able to paddleboard and go get some lunch. The only thing is these flies, jeez. But this is really, oh, that's a piece right there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. All right. <laughs> I might move inside because the flies are being relentless on me. If you like this episode, Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> See, Stab, I'm not the only one. Come on, turn right, baby. Oh!
go. The Blue Angels. I told you, I feel like a seven-year-old. It is the best thing ever.